So next, let's move on to this menu system here. So for Nike, it's very much very similar to, if you think about it, it's very similar to the help um, drop down. It just takes full width. And then you also have uh, styling for each of the links, which means we do something very similar to what we did with the help. Copy those text links, then style them, add some style effects, and then we'll link it to the actual button. The way we're gonna achieve that is by using a dynamic panel. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So what I have already done ahead of time is to copy each individual link. So all we need to do is just put it now onto an actual background. So on the side here, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna drag over a box and its width is gonna be 1200 because we're creating a full width menu dropdown. Okay, cool. And then let's copy for the new releases. Let's copy the links for new releases and paste. So as I said, I did this earlier before, otherwise it would take way too long to, to copy each and every piece. What we can do though is there's still styling, which is required for these. Okay, next up, we need one for the men's category. Very easy to do. And lastly, we have collections. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna to attempt to do is to create a dynamic panel, which will house all these menu dropdowns. But first we just need to style everything and just align stuff and just clean it up a bit. So what I'm going to do is let's start with this guy. I'm just going to select these, left align, vertically distributed. Same for this. Okay, awesome. So that's all done. Now what I want to do is to group and name these different panels. Then we're gonna combine them into one dynamic panel. So I'm just gonna select everything here and then control Command G and name it as new releases. Uh, drop down. Just copy this last part because I'm going to reuse that. Next is this, this section, control G, it's the men's drop down. Next up is the women's, command G. Women's drop down. Then we have the kids. Command G. Kids drop down. Command G. Command G. Sale drop down. Says it a little bit. G 
sail drop down so a little bit group it and that's the gifts drop down awesome done so now what i want to do is create a dynamic panel which holds all of these and the way to do that is to find the one which has the longest height. So we've got 558. This is 634. And that's 634. 592. Okay, cool. So this is probably going to be the one with the, with the greatest height. So I'm going to right click. Create dynamic panel. And I'm going to name this dynamic panel menu drop down. Okay, and then we're going to jump into the dynamic panel. We're going to name the state of this uh, the men's. We're just going to name it men's. We're going to add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five six states and let's go back here and start bringing in these guys so this was let me just double check this was women's actually so it's women cool close that let's grab the men's command x jump in we're going to name this men's and then paste it. Cool. I'm going to close, grab the new releases, command X into the dynamic panel, change the name, new releases, and paste. Close. Let's grab this. This is the kids. Command X into the dynamic panel, renames the state to kids, and oops, command Z. Let's go back to kids and paste. There we go. Let's just move this up. Okay, cool. Close. And then the last one was the sale, command X. So let's just drag it up. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five. We're missing one more. Let's just double check everything. This is the kids one. Let's check new releases. It's new releases. Cool. This the men's. Just make sure that it's in this dotted boundary. Like that. Still two more groups here. Just drag them up though. Right. And so the one is for gifts. Command X. Then I panel. Let's change the state to gifts. And paste. And then just drag it up into this boundary box with the dotted lines. Okay, cool. Close. Let's grab this last one. Command X. And change this to collections. And paste. And then just drag it to the corner. Awesome. So if you don't actually drag it to the corner, what will happen is the screen will render it and paste and then just drag it to the corner awesome so if you don't actually drag it to the corner what will happen is the screen will render it this size 
which is not what you want. You want it to, to have an exact dimension to the menu. Okay, cool. Close. All right. And we've got our menu drop down now. So that's awesome. And we're going to position this where we want it to show, which is going to be inside the master. So it's going to show up over here, right? Something like that. So let's cut this, go into the master, and then paste it. So now let's add interactions to our menu. On mouse enter, we are going to show the menu drop down, animating it, sliding down. And we're going to set the panel state off menu drop down to new releases. Let's say OK. And then on new interaction is on mouse exit. We are going to hide menu drop down and then say OK. So let's preview this and see what it looks like. There we go, beautiful. We mouse out, awesome. That's looking, that's looking great. So all we need to do now is just to add on same interactions across all these other ones. So let's do that right real quick. Okay, so for men, new interaction, mouse enter. We're gonna show the menu drop down by animating it down, Let's say OK. And we're going to set the panel state of menu drop down to min. Let's say OK. And then for our other action, new interaction is to exit. We're going to hide menu drop down. We can actually slide it up, slide it up. Yeah, say OK. Let's see, new releases, did we slide it up here? No, we didn't, so we're gonna do that as well. Okay, cool, I'm gonna copy these two interactions and then just change the state in which it goes into. So I'm gonna say copy, go to women, paste, change this part to women, say done. For kids, I'm gonna paste, change that part to kids, say done. For gifts, I'm gonna paste, change that part to gifts, and done. Sale, I'm gonna paste, and change it to sale. And for the last one, it's collections. So you'll notice that it's behind something else. So all you need to do is to click once, click again, and then you you will select it. Okay, and let's paste our action, change our state in which it goes into, which is collections, and done. If we go back to the home page, preview this. We mouse over, there is that interaction. So we probably don't need the sliding up bit. So let's just change that. Just jump in there, click, and a mouse exit. We don't want it to slide up, just want it to be none. Say so, okay. Same for this one. None. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And close. And remember to save your file. Control S. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a menu system, which looks like that. How cool is that? Awesome. We move on to 
the slider ribbon, this one. 